While a lot of AI tools have come into the market for literature review, I know a lot of you still go back to the good old Google Scholar. Well, here's the good news. Google Scholar has launched its very own AI feature, making it easy for you to read PDFs and that too for free. Hi everyone, I am Neha Grival. I'm the founder of WiseUp and in this video, we are going to discuss all about the features of this Google Scholar PDF reader. I'm also going to show you the installation process and how to enable some options to make the best use of it. As a bonus, I'm going to share with you another AI tool consensus with amazing features to help you with your literature review process. So without further delay, let's get started. First, let's begin with the features of the Google Scholar PDF reader, which I have pre-installed. So for this, I'm going to go on Google Scholar and search about my topic, which is nanoparticles for super hydrophobic coatings. And if you see a bunch of results show up. Now here I'm going to look for an open access paper to show you as a sample, but this PDF reader is going to work with all types of research papers. So if you see on the right hand side, some of these papers have academia.edu written, which means that a free PDF is available for this. It's an open access paper. So I'm going to click on it and open it. Now, because I have the PDF reader pre-installed, my paper automatically opens in this Google Scholar PDF reader. And this is how the interface looks. Now, if you see on the left hand side, all the sections and subsections are listed down and you can immediately jump into the section you're interested in. For example, I want to directly go into the methodology section so I can click on this and directly move in there. Or for example, I want to directly look at the results and discussion section. So I click on the results and discussion option and I am taken to that part of the paper. Now, the next feature is where they have brought in the AI component, where the PDF reader is going to generate an AI outline or summary of the paper, which you can go through and then decide whether you want to go through the rest of the paper or not. However, this feature is relatively new and may not be available for all the PDFs that you open. Now, say, for example, you've decided to go through the paper. So here you will see that all the table numbers and figure numbers are hyperlinked for you. And if you click on these hyperlinks, it directly takes you to that table or figure, improving the readability and accessibility of the different sections of the paper. Similarly, all the citations are also hyperlinked. And if I click on one of them, it will show me a direct link to that paper on the journal website. So if it's a subscription based journal and I have access to it, then I can access the paper directly. Otherwise, if it's an open access paper, then the PDF will open for it. Now, if multiple papers are cited together, then this is how it's going to look. And I can switch between the different papers very easily also. Now, the next feature is where if you want to cite this paper, then you simply click on cite, copy the citation style and paste it directly in your research paper. Or you can also download the citation and directly transfer it to your reference manager. You can save the papers in the Google Scholar library and categorize it in different folders for managing your literature. And finally, you can also change the theme of your Google Scholar PDF reader from light to dark mode as well. So guys, I hope you found the features of the Google Scholar PDF Reader useful. Now, before I jump into the installation process, I want to share with you another AI tool that I found really helpful in the research process. It's called Consensus. Consensus is an AI powered search engine designed specifically for academic research. It helps you find relevant papers based on a research question and then pulls insights from millions of peer reviewed studies to give you a research backed summary. Think of it like combining the vast database of Google Scholar with the conversational power of tools like ChatGPT, but focused entirely on academic literature. Let me show you how it works with a sample question. Can cinnamon improve cardiovascular health? Now consensus will search its entire academic database to give us clear evidence based answer using its consensus meter. In this case, it shows 53% of studies say yes, 35% say possibly and 12% say no. You'll also see that the studies are categorized by type, for example, meta analysis, RCT, animal study, etc, which makes it much easier to access the quality of the study at a glance. You can also view study snapshots, save papers into custom lists, download citations into your reference manager or share them with your research group. Very handy when you're working on your literature review. One thing that I really appreciate about this tool is the advanced filters. You can narrow your search by study type, 
open access journal country and more making it much easier to access exactly the papers that you need and recently they've added an exciting new feature that allows you to chat with the paper that you're reading for example can you tell me what are some of the limitations of this study you can also upload your own pdfs and chat with them to quickly extract key information or clarify complex sections so if you're doing a thesis writing a research paper or simply working on your literature review then i definitely recommend that you check out consensus and if you'd like a full tutorial then you can check out my previous video where i've given you a complete walkthrough of this tool now the best part consensus is offering its premium version for free for the first one year for our wise up audience to start using it the link and coupon code is in the description for you so i hope you found the features of this new ai tool equally exciting now let's come back to the installation process for the google scholar pdf reader for this simply open a google chrome web page and navigate to the extensions option once you open the extensions go to the google chrome web store and search for google scholar pdf reader and then just go ahead and install it now if you open any google scholar paper it should ideally open in the google scholar pdf reader giving you all the features that we discussed earlier however for some reason if the paper does not open in the pdf reader then navigate to the extensions option again and see which pdf reader you have installed currently in my case it was the adobe pdf reader and then go ahead and disable it now if you open your pdf it will open in the google scholar pdf reader now coming to the special feature say you want your offline or already downloaded literature to open in google scholar pdf reader as well for this simply navigate to the extensions option again go to the google scholar pdf reader and enable the option access file urls after this if you open your already downloaded pdfs then that will open in google scholar pdf reader as well and in this way you can access all your downloaded literature using the google scholar pdf reader so everyone that's all i wanted to share with you today hope this video will help you make better use of your old friend google scholar now if you wish to learn in detail the entire process of writing a research paper starting from choosing a research topic writing each and every section of a research paper to using the best ai tools for your research then you can join me for my course on a to z of research paper writing the link is in the description and also don't forget to check out consensus and start using its premium features for free thank you so much for watching this video and i wish you have a fantastic research journey ahead